Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical and biomedical engineer and today we're gonna watch Cells at Work episode 2 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. On that sign, it said that the skin was 400 micrometers thick, and that that's a really, really like thin skin. And I mean that 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 fancy like U, which is the Greek symbol for mu, it, that means micro, which is 10 to the negative six. So wherever they're going, the skin is 400 times 10 to the negative six meters, which is 0 0.4 millimeters thick, and milli is 10 to the negative three. I I just I converted f the 400 micrometers to 400 millimeters by just dividing by a thousand. But it's it's hard to like visualize, but 0 0.4 millimeters is really really thin. Th so the part of the body that they're going to is most likely the eyes because that's where your skin is really. I don't know if it's that thin, but I, I think like your eyelids are the thinnest part of your skin on your body. That seems very obvious, but it is worth mentioning that not all the skin around your body is the same thickness. Around your eyelids, for example, it's really, really thin. But around your um, like soles of your feet, it's pretty thick. And I believe the thickest part of your skin is either your chest or your um, abdomen. I mean, if you're like more like a heavy set person, then that's generally what the thickest skin is. And for all the medical students and doctors watching this, I'm including all layers of the skin in that assessment, which is like from the epidermis, the most outer layer, all the way down to the subcutaneous tissue, which is where like the fat tissue and like the blood vessels, like these blood cells are moving around in right now. <laughs> this is exactly what happens whenever you get like a, a cut or a wound or something like that in your body and we know that this cut is ha that's happening right now is actually pretty bad because all the red blood cells that just like flew out of that hole so which pretty much insinuates that the person is bleeding. This person is bleeding from their eyelid. I don't know what just happened to them but I hope they're all right. <laughs> Your skin protects you from a lot of harmful bacteria 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And when there's a like puncture or a cut in your skin, that's when all these bacteria are like, okay, it's a free-for-all because they've been trying to get into the human body this whole time. And now they finally have a way to get inside. The reason that these bacteria want to get into the human body is because that's where the most optimal environment is for them to thrive. Like, think about it like this. If they actually get into your body through a cut, then they're pretty much insulated for everything else that's coming in to get them. I mean, they have to deal with the white blood cells and all the other like immune part of your, like immune system of your body, right? But like once they're in, it's a much higher likelihood that the bacteria will survive than if they're just outside in midair. That, I was actually thinking about it like as I was looking at like this like queen of bacteria or whatever they want to call this thing, Staphylococcus aureus and if I'm not mistaken like I'm 99% sure about this, I think the actual bacteria looks just like that. I mean minus like the like the look, I mean like all those like little um, like yellow spheres that you see all around her, that's actually what Staphylococcus looks like and we, we know that this one is Staphylococcus aureus which like I, I, I'm not 100% but I'm really really sure that like under a microscope um, the, the it really is yellow. Like, like this. <laughs> it's, like, I really think of that bacteria as yellow, and it has, like, all, like, that Staphylococcus shape, which looks like a, it's like a bunch of grapes, which is kind of like this, what those spheres represent all over that, um, like, that character. And that's, that, that's a pretty, like, immense attention to detail for that TV show, or for the anime, because people get upset at me when I call them TV shows. But it's really amazing that the producers were able to get that exact detail, for the even color and the look of that bacteria. That's pretty impressive. What? 
傷ついた血管は収縮することで血液の流出速度を下げようとする。<laughs> That is really, really cool, and it's 100% absolutely true. Vasoconstriction will, I mean, constrict. It'll shorten the diameter of all the blood vessels, which is going to reduce blood flow, and it's going to really slow down the bleeding of wherever is going on, like in that cut or infected area. The opposite of this process is vasodilation, where your blood vessels will actually increase in diameter and that'll increase blood flow to that area. The reason that your body would do this is for one to lower your blood pressure, or another is to cool you down. If your body temperature gets too high, then the body's reaction of like helping you cool down is by sweating, and then it'll bring your blood vessels actually closer to your skin. So if you're ever like working out or running, just look at your hands or just look around your body, like the blood vessels will actually get closer up to the top of your skin. Because when you sweat and your sweat actually evaporates, that's how your body cools off. The important thing is if your blood vessels are increasing in diameter, then it's gonna increase the blood flow to that area and it's gonna lower your blood pressure. Whereas if they're constricting in vasoconstriction, it's gonna increase blood pressure and lower blood flow to that area. GP I'm officially beyond impressed by how deep the show really goes to get like the, the real accuracy of what's happening in the human body. Cause wow, like that, that is really, really impressive. They even have like the GPIB. GPIB is short for glycoprotein IB, and what it does is bind platelets together. Think of it like glue, essentially. And when, when these, all, all these platelets are holding up their coagulation factors, like the reason that your platelets are gonna come to the like, a cut area is because they actually cause your blood to clot. And it does this through the、uh, glycoprotein IB and through the coagulation factors. And it, it's like, I don't know how they're, like, this is actually really cool that the show is able to like, tell you all this and show you in a really, really awesome way. I mean, this is. Like, th this truly is exactly what happens in your body. Like, your, your, your blood will start pumping more platelets to that area so that it can clot your blood so it stops the bleeding and then it'll start healing from the inside out. This show and this particular episode are scary with how accurate they are to the real world. And it's, it's, it's really, really exciting to actually watch a show and all the entertainment value is real. Like, you're actually learning. Like, this truly is how the human body will react under circumstances just like this. I mean, the, not, not just like the platelets and the coagulation factors and the glycoprotein and the actual like character design of the bacteria, like the Staphylococcus aureus, it really does look like that. I mean, that is so cool for them to actually show you that. But the, the red blood cells, I think someone in the comments in the first video actually said the blood, all the hats. That the red blood cells are wearing, they actually look like healthy red blood cells, which I didn't even notice that at first. But that is so cool that the show included that. And, and this, there's so much detail in it. Like, it's really awesome. Cells at Work and Dr. Stone are the two most scientifically accurate just pieces of media. <laughs> like, like, that's like outside of a university that I've seen. I mean, these shows are really, really good about their scientific and medical accuracy. And they're actually entertaining. Like, this is stuff that's really interesting to watch. And I'm, I'm really happy that th this is recommended to me. Thank you for everyone in the comments who told me to watch Cells at Work and continue watching it because it doesn't disappoint. It's a really, really fun show. I recommend it to everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.